Well, here it is, folks, my little conversion number nine, the twin fusey jobby, ready for its maiden, which I had hoped to include in this video, but unfortunately we've got a spell of really bad weather at the moment. So this is just a very quick look at part two of the build blog. It does include how I did my rather cool little undercarriage here, plus how I did the LED lights, which I'm rather pleased with. Battery stowage is under here. That that was the subject of its own short video, as was the problems I had balancing the two motors. So check those out if you like, and don't forget to hit, hit subscribe if you actually want to see the Maiden, which is going to be coming up as soon as we get some decent weather. But that's all for now. Check out the build blog. Hopefully I'll catch you when I can get this in the air. But let's get on with the very quick build blog. Well, the motor's arrived, a pair of BR1806s clockwise and counterclockwise and the first job was to very carefully mark up the nose sections a little bit of down thrust but try and get them in the same plane to mount the motors so having done that next job was to make a little template and then make two mounts these are actually a laminate of plastic on some wood that I bought that wasn't very suitable little test fit make sure you leave the hole clear in the middle for the spindle to spin and the tiny little circlip on it and then I made a hole for the wiring to go through to the cockpit area plus some little recesses for those screws next job was to hot glue them on being very careful not to actually get glue onto the screw holes or the where the circlip spins in the middle and I'm pretty satisfied I got them in the same plane so then I wired in my little 12 volt LED lights. I can put a link to those down there. Basically connect, a question of connecting to where the positive and negative connections come from my battery in the middle to the speed controllers on either side as you can see there. Just soldered them in to that join. Next job was to install both speed controllers. As mentioned I had a bit of a problem with getting those balanced prop but that was the subject of the second video which I'll link and it all came down to me not calibrating one of the speed controllers in the end but anyway that's another story and I say I'll link the video at the end so the wiring had to go right across for the servos speed controllers battery in the middle all sorted so I tested it everything working as it should now after I'd corrected my calibration problem and reinstalled one speed controller all looking good to me. So next job was to put some nice decals on. So pretty much finished. Next job was to tidy up the cockpit wiring. The receiver tucks nicely in under there with the antenna outside under the wing and the receiver is well enough away from the speed controller to avoid interference. Next little job was I wanted to, this to be able to take off from the ground. I had some suitable stiff wire and a couple of spare wheels kicking around so I fashioned it into an appropriate shape, melted a little indent into the fuselage and hot glued it in and it feels very secure. And to round it off a couple of little wheel spats or fairings which I think looks pretty good. So let's give it a final test. Battery goes in like so connect keep clear of the props anyway if you've got any sense I love that noise they're working properly and this just hooks in like so I'm going to put a rubber band round just to keep that secure just a rubber band around there but that's that contained so let's give it a rolling test So there it is, my little cheapo chuck glider conversion number nine, the twin fusey. As I said, don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to see the maiden, which hopefully will be in a few days when this awful weather's gone by. But thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.